Okay, welcome back everyone, I am Blaze here. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about the first thing you should do for the Lost Dungeons of Norath expansion, which is dropping, or has dropped by the time you watch this, on the 6th of May, 2020, on the Mangler Timelock Progression Server. So the first thing you should do, in order to access Eldon content, you have to do a primer quest in which you go to your starting city, hail an NPC, do some quest stuff, and so on and so forth. I'll show that right now. Okay, welcome back everyone. I am Blaze here. Gonna be doing the Eldon access quest, which is called Adventurer's Stone under Alakazam. So you get this text, you get this message, which a mysterious voice whispers to you, and, and when you go to your home city, it'll tell you what NBC you need to go hail. So you just click origin, go to your home city, and when you're in range, it'll get you started on this. So I am in Kelethin for my ranger. I'm gonna go hail this person. Their name is crazy, I don't even wanna say it, but I'll show where it is on the map. So it is, here's the plane of knowledge book right here. And it's in this tavern yeah, it's on the south east most portion of Kelethin. And I'll show uh I'll show thing same thing for Aeonic and stuff. So I'm gonna hail her. Come to find out about the Wayfarers Brotherhood. And I think I saw you around here a long time ago because you're familiar to me. I will trust you with some information, okay? What information? The Wayfarers Brotherhood is pretty particular about who they do business with. You'll need to prove to them, prove yourself to them. So you have to do some uh, dialogue, and I'm just going to fast forward. Okay, so all you got to do with that quest NPC is just go through their dialogue quick, and then it'll let you go to the next portion of where you got to hail any number of quest NPCs that are actually at the Eldon camps. So I'm in the one at Butcher Block, which is just right inside the entrance from Greater Fate Arc. And there's a lot of people here right now. So let me go take a look at which NPC. Okay, so this is one of them. Uh, Vool Stoutfest. Let me turn off all the names so I can see. I'm going to hail him. Uh, I should probably turn off invisibility. He says, welcome stranger, I'm afraid you must answer some questions before I can consider opening our wealth of skill and knowledge to you. First, what does the Wayfarers Brotherhood call the tasks they ask you to do for them? So the first thing you say is adventures. Okay. We will reward based upon your improving position with the Wayfarers Brotherhood. We keep a certain type of log that records how often and how well you help us. What is it called? Faber Journal. Who discovered that some treasures have strange magical properties by poking one with his dagger? Morden Rasp. Our brilliant magi use a special kind of magic to help teleport us behind between camps. What's it called? A far stone. All right. Take this adventurer stone with you on your journeys into dungeons. You'll find it useful. Should you lose it or somehow, well, talk to me and I will come in replacement. And that is it. I completed it. And I got an adventure stone, which levels up as you progress. And it's, a, oh, it's a charm. It's a charm augmentation. Oh, okay. You slot it into your augmentation. Holy smokes. That's a really nice piece of gear. So that's all you got to do. And then there's one other really nice, cool thing of you can go talk to this magus. You can bind at these guys. There's a soul binder here. But you also, if you go talk to a magus, you can teleport you to all the other different camps that are available. And now for some other accessory information about the Eldon expansion. A Mangler, the usual expansion, Scheduling is three months. It's usually three months for unlocks, but it got moved down to two for Eldon. And the primary reason why is because people still raid Planes of Power content. It has better gear than the Eldon raid content. 
But that does not mean that Eldon is worthless. There are many new spells that are amazing for several classes. I know shamans are really looking out for some. Bards get a huge replacement for Wislona. A couple other classes get some nice spells. There's also the addition of augmentations or augments, which you can slot into your gear and weapons. And they can boost stats, it can add proxy to a variety of things. They can make your itemization that much better. I'm eyeballing these weapon procs that summon pets. I think it's from this Guck raid dungeon. Also, this is not confirmed, but Split Paw, the zone that's in South Karana, should be getting a revamp in this expansion so that it is arguably a better leveling zone for the 60s than Plane of Fire. It's kind of up for contention, but people say that it's either Split Paw or Plane of Fire that are the best grouping zones in the 60s. And lastly, as an aside, there are some traps and some raid mobs which have an AOE which has a skill check for alcohol tolerance. So if your alcohol tolerance is below 50, it'll actually get you blasted drunk, which just destroys your mana pool and your ability to navigate your vision. So do make sure you get up to 50 on alcohol tolerance. It's very easy to do so. One last thing before I go, I haven't been posting a lot here because I've been working mostly on another channel I made called Ion Blaze Main, where I put up all my other content ideas. So if you want to see what I actually look like and how good of a musician I am in real life, what's a real life bard like, I'm going to leave a link, little clicky on the top of the screen for you guys to check out or in the description, whatever's easier for all of you. So thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.